Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. So, as usual, I must start my video off with an apology. My aunt and uncle, fabulous Aunt Dan and Uncle Don, took me shopping to CVS yesterday, right? So I recorded a video, uploaded it early, early, early this morning, and I totally just assumed it was fine. It said that my upload was successful. Re deleted the video from my iPhone, and I just checked a little while ago, and of course, it does no longer exist. I don't know what the heck that's all about. So that video is just showing you I ran the Olay deal on my husband's card, picked up a couple of things like the Cheez-Its and um, I don't know, I did Physician's Formula. What else did I do? No Dove. Um, oh yeah, I did. I got a lot of Dove chocolate. That's right. Thank you, honey. Got an, a Kiss nail dress. Um, I have no idea. That was Walgreens. Oh yeah, I did Walgreens too. The Scope deal. So, yeah, those are, I don't know what that's called. I threw the box away. But, anyways, yeah, and I wanted to let you know to get a rain check. I was watching Felicia's video, Two Crazy Coupon Moms, and she was telling us that in a few weeks, the Gillette Pro Glide, I believe it is, is going to be on a $5 extra buck deal, and there's a $5 manufacturer coupon coming out. So, if you do the rain check from this week, well, by the time I upload this, it'll be next week, <laughs> and I should have said last week. If you do the rain check from the week of the 12th through the 18th for $9.99 price, get a $4 ECB. It will be a great double dip money maker. But, okay, so that's no longer valid. So this is my Rite Aid haul for tonight. I was not going to upload this video, but there are a few things that are still valid, and some things happened tonight that has me PO'd at Rite Aid. First of all, I'm sure if you've seen Rob's video and Priscilla's video about the changes in the plus-ups. I'm just so irritated about the whole situation because there are a lot of things that are unknown, such as being able to shift ups from card to card and um, things like that, not being able to use them till the next day, um, not having a choice in the order in which they are used if they're loaded to your card. We do have the option to opt out, but that's not really giving us a whole lot of control um, over... Um, rolling transactions. And um, as Rob pointed out, for new couponers, it's devastating. So anyways, I went to Rite Aid tonight. Not going to go over every single deal, but I do want to say this. In my last video that I did not get to upload, I thought I did, I was talking about the bear coupons expiring today, the 18th. Now, if your CVS is like mine and they accept manufacturer coupons expired up to 10 days, you can use these to help you with a percent off coupon. I got a 25% off coupon in my extra care account. So check those and use them for this week. And that'll help you get a little bit of extra money off your total since we have to work without the four off 20s. A um, couple things that will still be valid. Not as great of a deal, but the Clairol, this Clairol, thanks honey, is shelf tag $10.99. Um, it's marked at 50% clearance at $5.49, but it does ring up for $2.70. Don't move, baby. For $2.74. Let me find it real fast. And thank you, Miss JC, for your help. Okay, so two of them, I picked I picked up three all together. So the nice and easy, medium gold and blondes, 274. Then the natural instincts is 224. And then the other one, the medium ash brown, is 249. So those are those two right there. So there was a $2 in-ad coupon. And we have a $3 manufacturer coupon. So this week it was giving um, several dollars in overage. Um, if you get them this coming week, you can still get free hair color and anywhere from 76 cents in overage to 51 cents. If you color your hair, this is a good time to pick them up. Not on an extra buck deal as far as I know. Um, so this is 8G medium golden blonde. And there's a shot of the UPC. Look at that box. That is gross. No wonder it's on clearance. There's a shot of the UPC <laughs> for that one. This is 5A, medium ash brown, same deal. It was 270, no, 249, and there's a shot of the UPC. And then here's the Clairol Natural Instincts. That is shelf tag 899. It was marked for 50% off, but it did ring up for 224, which is 75% off. That is 37 espresso cream, rich black, and that is the rich color cream natural instincts. Okay. And that is whoopsie. That's the UPC code for that, okay? Now, as for some of the deals, um, oh, let me tell you about the mistakes. First of all, um, I did the soft soap deal. All they had were eight of them, and my $5 plus up printed for spending 12 because these totaled about $16, right under $16, $3.99, buy one, get one free, so I had eight of them. I did have the 35-cent coupons. 
my $5 plus up printed. However, I had to throw in this Scott. My mother is obsessed with Scott, so I had no problems. $8 a piece, so that totaled 16 There were dollar, dollar peelies on them because I didn't plan on buying Scott, but that totaled over $31, almost $32. My $10 plus up did not print. And I'm looking in the ad... And it is a part of the same promotion, and there is a limit of one, but I haven't been to write it at all this week except for today. So, spend 30, get 10. There's the soft soap, and there is the Scott. So, I don't know what that was all about. As I said, the $5 plus up printed, but the $10 one didn't. Lester White. These are shelf price $6.99. So, if you have a discount. Thank you, baby. Oh, let's see here, y'all. Okay, so. Thank you, sweetie. 20% off makes them $5.59. I had a $1.25 Rite Aid coupon from the allergy, not allergy book, <laughs> the um, oral care book, as well as a dollar manufacturer coupon, I want to say. And then there's a $3 single check rebate. So if you have, there's a higher value printable for the Luster White. So if you have that, it'll make it very, very cheap. But I did pick that up. I did get some more of the toothbrushes. The $10 coupon is still working without any beeps on these. These range in regular price from $8 and change to seven dollars and change and your discount does apply and then you'll get the overage it totally scans no problem so they haven't changed the coating in it this plus up didn't print either for the crest these were on sale for three something and i had the dollar righted coupon as well as the 75 cent manufacturer coupon you were supposed to get a two dollar plus up and it was for the toothpaste that was 4.1 ounces or wait not hmm. The ounces were specified in the ad, and I did get the 4.1 ounce, but neither one of those printed. Um, I did the Purell. I know that those are going to be free next week, the Rite Aid brand, but um, I have a certain special girl in my life who loves the Purell, so she was um, the intended recipient of this. $3.99, get a $2 plus up, and there's a $1 manufacturer coupon, and this is the bonus pack with a spray, and she'll love that. Nivea, first time I did it, I put those on, and all the shelf tags were gone. Hold on, sweetie. All the shelf tags were gone. At this point, so I forgot that they were six dollars for all the various ones, except for the one on the far right in the back. That was thirteen ninety nine. My twenty percent kicked in and made it like eleven something. So I had two of the two dollar coupons for the Q ten products, and then the one dollar manufacturer coupons for the rest, except for this one. I had a two dollar printable from a long time ago. Y'all know I don't have access to a, a computer, so I did not have the three dollar printables. All those totaled. Thirty nine ninety seven. So I had to go back and I threw this one in. On a separate transaction to get uh oh oh to get my plus up to print right okay watch out baby so this is what that receipt looks like and I stupidly gave her a one dollar plus up which she adjusted down to eighty four cents I have no idea why and she according to the receipt owed me five cents but I had to pay five cents whatever doesn't matter I still got my ten dollar plus up and as you can see. My um, weekly promotion was not even tracking. The Mucinex is a monthly promotion that had the Clarisil when I did the Perfect Wash. Um, that 79 cent item made, you know, 76 cents over my Nivea deal. Whatever. I'm not making, I'm babbling now. I'm not even making any sense. Okay, so I used a lot of plus ups in this promotion or in this transaction. Did some more of the Sally. My sister wanted this one, so I picked her up one. Found this one, thought it was adorable. The Kiss. Um, these are $6.99, 20% discount kicks in, and a dollar. Tear pad coupon. I did that for $9.99. I believe that was $9.99. And then um, $4 and $4. Dexa trims a monthly deal. So this is shelf price, $25.99. 20% discount does kick in if you have a 20% discount. And that makes it $20.79. Then you get a $5 plus up back. And that is a monthly deal. So I don't know if we're coming up on a weekly deal where you can maybe double dip on that. I don't know if there are manufacturer coupons. I don't even know if there's ready coupons. I don't know. But um, if that is a product you use, then that would be a good item to purchase. Um, I did the Sippy Cups. These were $6.99 or something like that. 20% um, discount brought down to $5.03. And then I had the got the $4 plus ups for those. Bear deal. Those coupons expired today, so I wanted to use up a few more. Um, at Rite Aid, so these were two for 12, but my 20% discount did kick in because it was a better deal with the 20%, so it made them $5.99 for the Bear Advanced and $5.59 for the Back and Body, so um, basically oh, right over $11 for the Back and Body, $6 in coupons, and supposed to get back a $2 plus up, which I did not get back. 
So that would have made them about $1.50 a piece. Not bad. I did this day free on my card, my husband's card, and then my mom was with me and did it on her card. Picked up some of the snack mix. Nothing special. Just my 20% discount kicked in. Same thing with the Red Bull. Same thing with the kettle chips. The combos were four for five. I had a dollar off two manufacturer coupons, which brought the cost down to, I want to say like 75 cents a piece for those. Not bad. Okay, I think I went over everything. Um, real quick, I just want to show you my receipt. It is nothing special at all because all these deals, I doubt you even care what they look like, but that's my receipt. Hold on, guys, I'm sorry. Um, so the Oral-B is still working with the Overage um, if, you, if you're able to use those. The nice and easy or nice little Overage makers if you have them. Okay. I also have something random to talk about. Um, I got some of these $2 plus ups whenever my diabetes rewards weren't printing from the bare meters. And I realized today, I opened up the envelope for the first time, and I realized today they were supposed to send me like $60 in plus ups because I bought 13 meters altogether. They only sent me 24. 24! They shorted me over $30 worth of plus ups. That just ticks me off, right? It just keeps ticking me off and ticking me off, man. I'm telling you what. They are not on my favorites list right now. So my subtotal, according to this receipt, was $13.13. However, I had a ten a $10 single check rebate and a $2 single check rebate from June and July, I want to say. Maybe May and June. I can't remember. But she didn't know how to put the single check rebates in as checks. So she put them in. Where is it at? As cash. So there's $12 cash. Let me hold it to you. That's $12 cash. So I did pay $2.19 on my gift card. And I got back the $5 for the Dexa trim, $2 for Stay Free, $2 for Stay Free, $2 for Purell, $4 for Playtex, $4 for Playtex, $4 for Gillette, $10 for Nivea. Then I had the $5 Colgate that I got back for the soft soap that I have already used. And that's it. So I was missing 2, 6, 16, no, 2, 4, 10. Yeah, something like $16 or $18 in plus up. So I'm very irritated about that. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, and I cannot remember it off the top of my head. Oh, I need to apologize for not being able to do my preview for CVS or my transactions. I have not seen the ad, y'all. I have not seen it yet. So I will get to that whenever I get the paper tomorrow. I'll go ahead and put something together and upload that as soon as possible. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry about this jumbled up video. This was more or less to let off some steam, and I apologize for using y'all as my outlet, but I know you understand my pain. You feel my pain as couponers. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm so tired of calling Rite Aid corporate. It's ridiculous, but I have a bone to pick with them anyway. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.